Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Deborah, and this is the Art and Science of the Healthy Bowl. And this is a weekly summer uh, webinar series that I'm hosting. And it's really just a chance to take a tiny little bit of a deeper look at certain foods that are found on the plant-based diet. Uh, the, the term plant-based nutrition or plant-based diet can be a little bit confusing or off-putting to people. What it really is, is focusing on getting the bulk of your nutrition and vitamins and minerals and the whole spectrum of nutrition that we need for our bodies to be healthy, whole, and balanced from the plant kingdom. And there's various different um, theories about whether or not there can be any animal protein included or not. Most of the dietitians, nutrition specialists, and uh, scientists and doctors that I follow lean towards air on the side of prioritizing plants, but not necessarily eliminating all uh, animal protein. As you probably know, if you eliminate all animal protein, that's the vegan diet. So plant-based is really more, it's possible for you to get a full spectrum of nutrition from the plant-based diet. Uh, and we should try to do so because it's proven to have a myriad of health benefits and to reduce a lot of risk of chronic illness for our lives. So with that said, I'm gonna dive in. So we're gonna, today we're gonna to be looking at fruits. So really quickly, just in a nutshell, where we're headed today so you know what to expect from this. They've been less than 30 minutes each week, so you can plan on less than 30 minutes. And I break it down into three segments. Part one is really the science. It's talking a little bit about the nutrition and what can be found in the featured food. Part two, I talk a little bit about what I call the art, and that's really the creating meals and putting, bringing these foods into your life in creative, fun, interesting ways so you can enjoy the process of getting that nutrition and it's not just like work you have to do. And then part three is the practice, right? So we can't just eat one healthy meal and then hope that all those health benefits are gonna last a really long time. We need to get into consistent, regular, weekly, healthy, repetitious practice with eating the plant-based diet in order to re uh, receive the health benefits. So that's where we're going today. And for those of you who I don't know, again, my name is Deborah Smith. I'm a holistic health coach. I'm a plant-based chef. Um, I'm a former juice bar owner. I, wore, I owned a juice bar in New York City for about 14 years. And my mission really is to help people save time and money while they are radically transforming their health, their way they feel and the energy that you have through the plant-based diet and nutrition. So I help my clients to increase their energy, to reduce risk of tonic, uh, chronic illness, and to learn how to practice regularly meal planning, regularly getting into the habit of making these delicious healthy meals. Um, and as I mentioned, I owned a juice bar. Uh, I started my health coaching career when I graduated the Institute for Integrated Nutrition in 2006. So it's been more than, just a little bit more than 17 years or around 17 years that I've been practicing this actively. Um, I've worked on hundreds of health focused events. I've gotten to work with some really incredible companies and brands and not for profits through the city. And then also, of course, thousands of clients through online programming, large scale events. And also I do offer one on one coaching. So and I've helped a lot of these people with just making a shift so that it's not necessarily like a fad or a diet, but it becomes a lifestyle. And Primarily what I want you to know about me and why I feel qualified to teach these classes to you is that I've spent the bulk of my adult life really practicing this myself. So I've learned to say no to the foods that really drag me down or drain me or have a cumulative negative effect in my body and the cells and tissues of my body. And I've learned to say yes to the foods that light me up and don't do harm. So I want to share that with you, right? I want to show you how to make a shift from uh, symptoms like low energy, fatigue, poor sleep, excess weight gain, um, and also anxiety, depression, and other chronic ongoing um, depletions of our energy to having a plan for how you can, every single day of your life, put something on your plate and consume foods that are gonna naturally combat those things in your life that are gonna help to relieve your body from stress and, and help to increase energy and really help you to feel stronger as you age. So the, the, the core concept that this entire webinar series is based on is that we know for a fact, right? It's not my opinion, it's fact, that when we eat a diet that's very rich in plant-based foods, like fruits, vegetables, legumes, 
whole grains, nuts and seeds. This is the number one method that we have control over in our lives, right? That we get to control that helps to reduce the risk of long-term chronic illness in our bodies. So if you are predisposed to an illness or genetically predisposed to certain imbalances, this is even more important. But even if you are just a healthy person living your life, over time, the wear and tear of everyday life in eating the standard American diet begins to degrade the tissue at a cellular level in our bodies. So what we put into our system, what we eat, is going to rebuild those healthy cells. And that's one of the only things that we can really truly control, right? We can't control genetics. We can't control the weather. We don't get to control, you know, accidents that happen and things that are just like outside of our control, but we get to control the food that we put into our bodies every single day for the most part. So it's really important to realize that this is something that you have agency over in your life that you get to take action on. And it's, and it's actually not as hard as it seems to transform what you eat and turn it into an active uh, deterrent for chronic illness. So let's dive right into part one, the science. What is in a balanced bowl? What's in the balanced nutrition that you wanna have on your plate? And particularly today we're talking about fruits, so why should you prioritize fruits? And I wanna start with an overview of basic macro nutrition, because we know all of these things, but we never think of them and take like, a, like an eagle's eye view or an overall snapshot of what it is. So you know, I'm sure, but you probably don't think about this that often, that there are six essential nutrients that we need to be getting into our diet on a regular, balanced, everyday basic um, basis. So carbohydrates, proteins, fats, water. Do you know that water is a nutrient or considered a nutrient? And then vitamins and minerals. And so we've got macronutrients and micronutrients. And um, the main thing to know about that is just the macronutrients are simply things that we need in larger quantities than the micronutrients, but they are not more important. These are equally important across the board and a deficiency or an imbalance in any of these uh, nutrients can lead to imbalances in the body, uh, deficiencies that can down the road lead to chronic illness. So we wanna make sure that we're getting a balance of these six essential nutrients throughout our day, every single day, and ideally in every time we eat a meal, there's a nice consideration to, am I balancing the amount of carbs, protein, fats? Now, when you get into specific, uh, combating specific illnesses or targeting a specific goal, such as weight loss or muscle building, then you need to start to do more of a science-y math thing with your macronutrients and your micronutrients. But for the general concept of balanced nutrition, you wanna be conscious of the full spectrum of nutrients that your body requires to operate at your baseline and to be getting a good mixed variety of those things from colorful fruits and vegetables. So we're gonna take a look at what is called the daily dozen. And this is a term that was coined by uh, a very well-known scientist as a physician um, who spent his career focused on the role that nutrition plays in our overall health, but specifically with, in, in accordance with chronic illness. So his name is Dr. Michael Greger. He wrote the New York Times bestseller, How Not to Die. And if you've read that book, then you already know, he chronicles every single, the common chronic illnesses in our, in our society and their direct relation to nutrition. So he's a genius at this particular topic. He's got an incredible website called nutritionfacts.org. If you haven't ever checked it out, check it out. Um, but he coined the term the daily dozen and it refers to 12 categories of foods and beverages that we need to consume every single day to be getting a complete spectrum of healthy nutrition so we're going to use the daily dozen as our baseline and i should just know that if you are not eating plant-based let's say you're eating the omnivore diet or if you eat the paleo diet or if you're doing something that's specific already you would want to just i'm going to make some rec talk about amounts per serving just keep in mind that's based on not consuming any animal protein so for example, like legumes in that, in this diet plan would be three servings per day. But if you were eating steak or a piece of chicken, you would be, those would be kind of uh, something that you would be balancing and determining the amount of protein that you're getting from one or the other. So you wouldn't do both. Um, and it's just to say that this is really what I want to show you with this is that it is possible to get a complete spectrum of nutrition through the plant-based diet, but it's not necessarily telling you you need to start eating this way right this red hot moment. I just recommend leaning into a plant-focused, plant-forward diet. Okay, so here they are, the 12 uh, stars of the plant-based diet. 
And as you can see, I've got two of them highlighted because today we're talking about fruits. So just quickly, beans, legumes is a great source of protein, berries and other fruits, and we'll talk more about why there are separate categories in just a minute. Cruciferous vegetables, greens, and other veggies. Again, noting that there are three different categories for vegetables. Um, and that is because they have different offerings nutrition-wise. Uh, I'll talk about that in just a moment. So seven is flaxseed. Also separated out from other nuts and seeds because of its powerful nutrition offering, which is that it is a really powerful source of omega-3 fatty acids, which is a nutrient that our bodies need that we don't make naturally. So we need to get them from an outside source. And we can get that from fatty fish like mackerel and salmon. However, if you were eating plant-based, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be getting it from fish, right? So you need to make sure you're getting those omega-3s. Our body needs them. And so flaxseed provides them in multitude. Um, herbs and spices, lots of nutrients, and vitamins and minerals and health benefits from herbs and spices. So they get their own category. Nuts and seeds, of course, a really wonderful source of healthy fat. Um, whole grains, providing protein, providing fiber, tons and tons of vitamins and minerals a really big staple element on the plant-based diet. And then water, of course, being highlighted and given its own category because we are, it's a critical nutrient for us. We need to stay hydrated in order to function. And then one of my favorites, not a food, but definitely part of the nutritional spectrum, exercise. So in the plant-based diet, we really talk a lot about how important it is to metabolize the foods that we consume, put them to get the maximum energy from them, transform that uh, the, the, the nutrients that we consume into energy in our system. So you need a full spectrum of vitamins and minerals to be able to transform energy. And you need to move your body and metabolize it to burn it and, and make sure that it's getting disseminated into your blood system and, and delivered to all of the vital organs, tissues, soft tissues, long bones, muscles. So we need to move our bodies in order to complete the cycle of Nutrition and also, of course, it helps with elimination. We sweat, we have, you know, excrement, all those things. So we need to make sure that we're moving our bowels, moving our systems to uh, eliminate excess unwanted things that get into the system. So again, exercise gets its own category. And I just want to point out with the vegetable categories that cruciferous veggies offer a lot of vitamins and minerals that you don't necessarily get in the other veg category. Dark leafy greens are superstars for having a lot of phytonutrients and phytochemicals in them, right? Those would be like your spinaches, your lettuces, all of your dark uh, leafy greens. And then other veggies would be any other vegetable, but largely it incorporates the starchy vegetables such as sweet potatoes, uh, corn, squashes, and potatoes and things like that. So they provide a form of carbohydrate known as uh, like a complex carbohydrate known as starch and it's important to note that because you're not going to get a lot of starch in those other vegetables they're just in a different category for that reason so let's move into our deeper dive on fruit starting with berries now berries and other fruit are going to get two different categories in the plant-based nutrition uh plant-based diet and that's because berries need to be singled out for their what they provide to our bodies that other fruits don't so a recommendation from Dr. Greger is to have at least one serving a day of just of berries. And a serving size would be a half a cup of fresh or frozen or a quarter a cup dehydrated or dried. So why do they get their own category? Why one serving per day of just berries? Because of their antioxidants. So they contain an antioxidant known as anthocyanin. And actually it's the pigment, that dark, dark purple, that dark red, that dark blue, that is called anthocyanin. It's the name of the pigment. It's also the medicinal property in the fruit. And that is the name of a very powerful antioxidant. The antioxidant that is so potent in berries helps to fight inflammation in our systems at such a high level. It's, they're studied for their known effect on reducing uh, incidence of cancer and also support for cardiovascular disease. So to limit to lessen, to decrease the effects of cardiovascular disease. So there are adaptogens as well. And what that means is that not only do they help to reduce inflammation in the system, but they really train the cells at the cellular level to respond differently to future incidents of inflammation. So they're strengthening our body at the cellular level and sort of helping to 
build healthier cell structures and systems so that we can ward off future incidents of inflammation. So again, anthocyanin, the antioxidant found in dark colored berries, it's also found in some of our dark colored veg, um, is so powerful. It's an incredible antioxidant and that's why we give berries their own category. And here's just a few of the ways you can consume berries, right? Acai, barberry, cherry, cranberry, raspberry. There's so many good ones. Um, I encourage you to explore outside of the just, you know, standard blueberry and, and, and strawberry and think about grapes and, and, you know, other types of fruits. So, and then we have other fruits. Now, other fruits is going to just be every other fruit that you can think. And the serving size recommended by Dr. Greger is three servings per day. And a serving size would be one medium sized fruit, right? So you could just eat an apple, that's one serving size. Um, a cup of cut fruit or a quarter a cup of dried fruit. And I just want you to pause for a second and think about how much fruit you're consuming during your day. Because every time I pose this question to one of my clients, I get the same response. Like, I'm not needing nearly enough fruit. So we fall out of the habit of making sure we're getting enough fruit. So by Dr. Greger's uh, recommendation, you should be getting four total servings of fruit per day, one that's just your anthocyanin rich berries. And so I just want you to think about that for a second. And if you're not getting enough fruit, I want you to up your fruit intake because there are so many health benefits that we need, vitamins and minerals galore in fruit. So they're the source of so many essential nutrients that we don't get enough of, right? I just said that, including potassium. Vitamin C, which is really a big booster for our immune system, and folate, and folate is important because folate helps to regenerate tissue and to rebuild where there has been damage done. But no, none of us are walking around thinking like, mm, did I get enough folate today? Get three servings of fruit per day into your daily intake. Um, they're an excellent source of dietary fiber as well, which is really, really important for maintaining a healthy gut and to prevent constipation, support healthy digestion, and move things through the digestive system, right? The second part of our digestive system is the elimination system. And so we really need a lot of fiber in our diet to help that keep moving, having healthy bowel movements. It's so important to eliminate incidences of uh, inflammation. Here's some highlighted benefits of eating more fruit. So you get to enjoy a variety of flavors and textures, right? They're really fun in their variety of flavor and texture. Like there's just so many different things that you can do and so many different ways. Think about it, eating a peach, which is soft and fleshy and very, has a very particular flavor is so different than popping a, a, a grape in your mouth that has got a thick skin, but then it bursts with flavor or watermelon is also soft, um, but an apple has a bite and a crunch to it. So if you're somebody who has a thing for, let's say chips, you could replace that really, um, that, that audible crunch thing that you might be, that might be triggering something for you with a, a sharp, crispy apple. Lots and lots of fiber, as I've already mentioned. It helps to protect against incidents of cancer and other diseases. So there's a lot of antioxidants in fruits and vitamins and minerals that bolster our immune system, vitamin C, and help to reduce risks, uh, risk of these developments of these types of diseases. They're very low in sodium and cholesterol. In fact, there's no, I think there's no cholesterol at all in fruit. Um, you can eat them fresh, frozen, canned, or dried, but they're all packed with nutrition. So that's a great thing about fruit is that you can freeze them, you can can them, you can dry them or buy them in those forms and you're still gonna get a lot of those health benefits and nutrition. Um, they're convenient, they're quick and easy, right? You can pack an apple in your to-go bag, you can pack an orange, you can pack a banana, you can easily slice up a watermelon and have it sitting out ready to go. You can have a bowl of grapes on your table. You can toss dried fruit into your salad. It's so easy to incorporate fruit without having to cook, right? It's just, it's, it's easy to eat fruits without much effort. And then finally smoothies, right? I just say finally smoothies because I'm a huge proponent of, of eating, uh, getting a lot of your nutrition through smoothies. I literally teach a course called Green Smoothies 101 for my people who don't get enough vitamins and, and fruits into their day. So um, here's a list you can take a screenshot of, lots of different fruits to choose from, um, many that we don't think about, clementines and grapefruit and the melons, honeydew and of course, there's oranges, papayas, and pineapple is a great one, highly anti-inflammatory as well. And there's just so many good ones, pomegranate seeds and prunes are a great one, great for digestion. Okay, and then how do we incorporate them? So listen, you can eat them raw, and that's the, 
the best way to do it in my opinion just eating a fruit raw the fresher the better the closer you can get to the tree you know at the farmer's market or whatever you can freeze them you can turn them into desserts and smoothies you can make them into purees and applesauce you could cook them into pies you can blend them into ice cream and make ice cream from them i'm going to give you a berry ice cream recipe that is amazing it's nice cream there's no sugar or milk um baking them to caramelize one of my favorite desserts is just baked peaches with cinnamon no added nothing nothing else to do to it baked uh you can saute some apples with a little bit of cinnamon and, and that's your dessert chop it up and toss it into your salad i love adding apples strawberries and all kinds of dehydrated fruits to my salads to get my fruit in and then dice them and add them into your top and then another thing to do with with fruit that people once you get into cooking is well first of all you can just slice up fruit and add it to your water right add your lemon your lime maybe some berries into a glass of water to give it a little bit of flavor and get your hydration on um, add it in your herbal tea cocktails make use real fresh fruit in your mocktails or your cocktails adding it to soup for natural sweetener instead of adding sugars uh, use them in salad dressings for the same reason to get a natural sweetener instead of adding sugar of course juicing which is like you know i'm ran a juice bar for 14 years i use fruit in all of my juices um, i use apples to sweeten a lot of my veggie juices a little bit so that they're more palatable smoothies of course so sugar-free dairy-free desserts made from fruits is the, my big what's one of the things that i teach all of my weight loss clients is how do we eliminate processed sugar we use fruit and it works and it's a great way to get naturally sweet things into your diet eliminate cravings and drop weight it works okay so in summary we want to eat three to four servings every single day of fruits they contain so many vitamins and minerals that our bodies need um, highlighting, I want to highlight again, folate, potassium, vitamin C, and fiber. And they come in clean packaging. You can rinse them quickly and toss it into your bag. A lot of fruits come in nature's wrappers. They're, you know, we're not buying plastic, uh, which is another added benefit, environmentally friendly, right? And they have so many health benefits. So I want you to be getting your fruits into your day. So let's move into the art, right? What is the art of creating a healthy bowl that incorporates more fruit well first of all i absolutely love getting my fruits in at the top of the day because they do contain natural sugar they are naturally sweet um, fructose which is the fruit sugar found in fruits is still a sugar so it's not it's not that it's not sugar it's just that it's not a sucrose which is a partial sugar and the thing that typically processed sugars are where we run into a lot of problems but if you're diabetic, if you're pre-diabetic, if you're on a weight loss program, if you're eating according to a carb cycling program, or if you're following keto or paleo, you already know that you've got to monitor when you get in your carbs. And so fructose, which is a sugar, is a form of carbohydrate. So again, without getting into the deep science or to coaching individually, because that's all, you know, it very much depends on your metabolism, your caloric baseline. Um, and I do this with my one on one clients, but for you to just think broad stroke, you want to be thinking, how many carbs am I getting in a day, you know, in order to maintain my goal or reach my goal, whatever that is. And so the way I like to think about it is like, I know my caloric baseline, I know that I want to be getting my carbs through things like whole fruits and whole vegetables. And so I make sure my fruit sugars come at the start of my day because then I'm going to be burning that during my day just by walking around, moving, exercising um, and hydrating. I'm going to the fiber from the fruit is going to move through my digestive system by mid to late part of my day. I'm going to burn it for fuel to move through my day and it's not going to linger in my system and build up. So uh, this is a little tool that I've created. I've been talking a lot about this online hopefully you've already gotten a copy but if not i've put a link in the chat for you i call it the balance bowl formula and the idea with this is that you can follow this basic formula to create a meal any time of day breakfast lunch or dinner that incorporates a balanced spectrum of vitamins and minerals through getting yourself a balanced spectrum of plant-based nutrition. So as you can see, it talks about starting with a base, which be a dark leafy green base. You could also start with a grain base. And then you're adding in your veggies, you're incorporating your fruits, you're packing in protein, you're adding a healthy fat. And as you can see, obviously, there's avocado is down there on your healthy fat list. So that's also a serving of fruit. Complex carbs, um, extra nourish, which could also be fruit. 
and and then there's a formula at the bottom on how to build. Basically, it's a PDF document. What you can do is you can print it, pin it to your refrigerator, and then you can refer to this at a glance anytime you are thinking about what to make for dinner, what you're gonna make for breakfast. Think about this as a reminder of to make sure you are getting a balanced spectrum of nutrition, that you're not leaving fruits out, that you're not forgetting to add them into the top of your day. Look at this first thing in the morning and plan your meals around it. It's gonna save you time. It'll wind up saving you money. It will ensure that you're getting a spectrum of healthy nutrition and it winds up just being a really quick, easy tool that you can have handy when you're building a healthy bowl. So when it comes to your health, you know, we know that getting an entire spectrum of nutrition from fresh, colorful, vibrant foods is a critical tool, right? I talked about that right at the top. And in theory, that sounds great. And even using the balance bowl tool, fantastic. But and I, I, I say this to you namely because I hear this from my clients over and over and over again. And it's the reason I have clients. <laughs> they say to me that the problem is it's not as easy as it looks because, and these are the top four things that I hear from my clients. Number one, prepping for all of these healthy meals is very time consuming. Number two, they say that shopping is either expensive or it's just overwhelming when they go to the store. Um, and then if you're managing any kind of restriction, picky eaters, dietary needs, you know, aiming for a specific goal, like I mentioned paleo and I mentioned weight loss, when you're subscribing to any of these plans or like fasting is very trendy right now, um, intermittent fasting, if you're doing any of that stuff, that can throw a wrench in meal planning. And finally, people tell me that if healthy foods are not available for them at 5 p.m., then exhaustion sets in and they just do what's easiest. I need to eat something, my stomach is rumbling, I'm running out of energy, I'm crashing and burning. And this is when people reach for packaged processed foods, whether it's a bag of chips or a granola bar, or it's just that you know microwavable meal that's only gonna take you a minute to get something into your system. 90% of the time, those foods are packed with preservatives and or ingredients that our bodies are not meant to have. And so this is what leads to problems down the road. And of course, this is fine every once in a while. It really is. But the problem is that poor quality nutrition, processed foods, and excess sugar, excess oil, excess salt, all of that stuff, it leads to health complications, especially as we age. It gets harder and harder to fight off all of these imbalances. And it leads to things like high cholesterol. Type 2 diabetes is rampant in the US. Excess weight gain, which leads to other things like joint pain, irritable bowel syndrome, itchy, dry skin, um, dry hair, right? Uh, and these things can lead to anxiety and depression. So this is all leading me to the final part of the presentation, which I'm just gonna quickly mention to you is the practice. How do we get into the habit of weekly meal prep that gets us out in front of those crash and burn moments? So we have balanced plant-based nutrition, which is the key to supporting our health ready to go, ready to eat, prepared, not taking up tons and tons of our day. And that, my friends, is how I work with my clients. This is why I am a health coach. It's what I love to create for people is a structure around how to accomplish this. So I always say to people, just imagine, imagine if you didn't have to worry about any of those deterrents anymore. You didn't have to worry about the time it takes. You didn't have to worry about which things to choose or navigating picky eaters or you know dietary restrictions. And if you never had a crash and burn again, wouldn't it be nice? And wouldn't it be nice to have accountability so that you know you're gonna show up and do the prep and get into the kitchen? And that, my friends, is the reason to work with a health coach. So I always like to end these presentations just reminding people you don't have to do this alone. Uh, you know, you can participate in any one of these programs that I offer. And I love meeting with and working with new people to help them reach their health goals. So I offer free consultations to see if I'm a good match. If you're somebody who just wants to DIY this, but you want some support, I've got lots of programs that I've created. So I have a one-on-one -on -one six month coaching program. That's really one-on-one -on -one coaching segments. Um, but I also created a program called Plant Powered Kitchen. That's a six week uh, in the kitchen plant-based cooking course with lots and lots and lots of information and modules about how to learn the basics of plant-based cooking. It includes all kinds of basic training and recipes and all that kind of stuff. 
Um, I do pantry edits with my clients. We meet and we just look in your cupboard, like let's get rid of the stuff that's gonna cause you harm and replace it with things that will not. I do personalized meal planning with folks who want to dial in, you know, I'm this age, weight, height, and these are my goals. And then we, we create custom meal plans for you. Um, and then I have online trainings that are low ticket trainings like the gut health protocol. This is all about digestive health in your microbiome. And I teach an anti-inflammatory course that has an anti-inflammatory meal plan. All of this can be found on my website. And I also have a brand new program that I've just started teaching um, that is a all-in-one done for you program called Balance Bowls for Busy Pros. And this is just uh, an opportunity to get, you know, very clear about how you can create healthy meals without having to do any of that excess work because I've created a program that offers you all of these done for you nutritionally designed meal plans. It also offers checklist shopping lists organized by food types. You can easily navigate the store. It's got step-by-step -step prep guides. So when you want to follow a weekly meal plan, you don't have to waste time in the kitchen figuring out how to organize your prep session because you can literally follow this prep guide one step at a time and it's going to tell you exactly what to do in what order that will save you time prepping for those um, those meals. And then there's also lots of little mini trainings on just, uh, essential nutrition facts. There's a weekly system for implementing your ideal dietary choices. And then we get together live twice a month, which really is where the rubber meets the road. People getting into the kitchen keeps them on track. So we meet once the beginning of the uh, month for a meal prep class where we actually meal prep some of the plan, um, recipes on the plan that we choose for that month and then and the third week of the month we do q a and people jump on live with me do one-on-one -on -one coaching we do meal planning it's really fun so oh and i love to share this quote from my client brenda who has a, um, been in this program who said she learned so many ways to simplify right so some time is money you don't have time to work this all out i've done it for you so she was already plant-based but she wasn't getting a balance of nutrition. And so she said that she gets so much more energy now because she's thinking about this, using the tools in the program, focusing on balanced nutrition and really uh, feeling so much better. So this is what you get inside the program. And I just wanna end with that everyone watching the replay of this video is also gonna get a special bonus today and it's gonna be available for you um, where you're watching the replay. So you can get that there. It's, so you're gonna be getting eight nutritionally designed meal plans that are already ready to go. Once you once you purchase this program, you get all of this. You don't have to wait for any of it. It's not dripped content, it's all there for you. Organized shopping checklists, step-by-step -step prep guides, of course, all the modules that are the nutrition um, trainings, and then those the live Zoom prep class, the Q&A, and then also you get two months free membership inside my online private community. And then you get to decide after that if you wanna stay with that. So that's really fun as well. So. But the biggest thing you get is the knowledge that you're helping to support your one and only body, getting the nutrition that you need to thrive and not just survive this lifetime. Right. So I want my clients to be vibrant. I want people to not only not get chronic illnesses, but to have the energy to go live your life, follow your dreams, be healthy, be happy. And so the bonus that I'm offering everybody for watching and sticking with me this whole time is that you're going to get fifty dollars off enrollment. So the course itself is only 147 but you can get it for 97 dollars and using the code balance when you go through checkout so if you there's a link in the chat you can click that link and that will take you to the uh more information about the program more details more clarity on exactly what you're getting you can certainly reach out to me at any point in time if you have questions and use the code balance and get this program in your life. Um, I'm so stoked about it. I'm happy to be sharing it. And that takes me, my friends, to my final slide, which is that the quality of our life depends on the quality of our habits. So it's not what you think all the time. It's what you do. Do you wake up and prioritize nutrition? Do you balance your bowl? Are you getting enough fruit? And are you showing up week after week to get into your kitchen and prep those foods so that you can be saving time and money and radically transforming your health. That's what I want for you. And that's what I am creating for you. So make healthy, balanced nutrition a new healthy habit. With that, it is time for Q and A. Let's do it.